Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimate, and welcome to episode 78 of Let's Platinum Neo. Alright, so we're up to the final boss of this uh, mission, or up to the boss of this mission. What I'm gonna do, just, okay, yeah, I was just gonna test a quick combo just to see if that works. So, we are unfortunately gonna have to use the Reaper ability again, because it just decimates this boss. You could probably also um, defeat it with uh, Water Sword. I am not confident that I'm going to get this on the first go, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. Let's watch the cutscene. This is actually one of the coolest um, cutscenes and just ideas that they had. Everything is way too dark in this episode, or in these missions. Anyway. Hey, it's Kelly. What is he doing? Who's that guy? He looks important. <laughs> now his face looks even weirder. That's a cool guardian spirit. Ladies and gentlemen. I said that way too early. <laughs> May I present the Obsidian Samurai. Alright. Same old, same old. Sloth. Weakness. Uh, oh, he's actually starting a little bit differently. Water. Carnage. Low stance, triple attack. Get behind him. Reaper. Done. <laughs> nice. That went really, really, really well. Oh, no way. I got the smithing text for the ebony armor. That is awesome. Woohoo! He's gone. All right, let's have a look at the story here. Um, let me quickly grab a few points. This one, toughness, that one. Okay. Wait, what is the other? Oh, it's ninja two power. I'm pretty sure. Okay. This will end the mission. Yes, it will. Okay, anyway, we got a nice little story here. A little bit out of nowhere, but still cool. Bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> I dreamt of becoming a samurai so that I could fight for Lord Nobunaga. Who do you fight for? That spirit? Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> These cutscenes are priceless now. The score in the background that's playing is incredible. It's so uplifting and just, ah, oh, it's really good.
<laughs> William don't care about that. <laughs> Alright, we get the Atlas Bear. Um, Guardian Spirit. And we get the trophy, a true samurai. I believe that's just for completing the samurai from Sawayama. So Sawayama is, I guess, like an African country. I don't know if it's real. Well, it's not It's not a real country. I know that much. I'm pretty sure Sawayama would have heard about it by now. Um, but maybe it's like an area or something like that or reference to a different country. But um, yeah, he is a samurai from somewhere in Africa. I think it was Africa. Pretty sure. Yeah. Anyway. Uh... Uh, Ishida has cast his lot in. Uh, Ishida has cast his lot in with a foreigner, and begun using dark magic to transform humans into demons. Okay, there is no room for men such as him in the world of peace that Lord Yasu envisions. He must destroy Sawayama Castle and all the hideous secrets within. All right, cool. So we have the ghosts of Sawayama, which takes place in the same thing, and then we have the Demon King revealed, the quasi final mission of the game. And we also got the Inheritance, another mission that opened up. Okay, this one's actually not too bad. Um, let me have a look. So, one really cool thing about that Guardian Spirit is it's the only Guardian Spirit that's not based from, like, uh, like a Japanese background. It's it's uh, African, which is really cool. And, the, and they, it's got, like, African designs on it, too, which is, yeah, really, really cool. Increased damage low key. Increases damage inversely proportional to how low your key is. Hmm, cool. Alright, so that's it there. Um, do we need anything else at the moment? Let's give it the ebony armor. So, smithing texts allow you to now create... Well, they allow you to create the armor, so we could actually create his armor. That's insane that we got that. I don't have any spider le spider's leg husks. Okay, well that sucks. Um, he's got a decent gear set. Um, this last one here, changed to attack stamina uh, an A ranking. So, all your stamina that will, will be... Um, pushed into the into your attack multiplier, which is really good, uh, especially if you have a lot of stamina. I still haven't really come up with like a good build in my practice profile, but I'm trying. So like I'm I'm playing it quite a lot, and I'm just trying to get through and do certain things, and then go okay, let's try creating a build now. But I have seen like a few builds that seem really cool. Okay, um, so I don't know. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So we're really close now, uh, in terms of proficiency. The Tonfa almost got there, so I might try and finish off the Tonfa and then work on the Spear and Jewel Swords and then finish with the Odachi, get everything to 500,000 and then complete all the Dojo missions. There is a Dojo mission, um, for some reason it's the only one. If you get your Jewel Swords to 500,000, you get the Dojo mission uh, for the Jewel Swords, right? Which is called the Grimace Blades. If you complete the Grimace Blades, um, you unlock a random side mission, it's sort of like around here or something, and it's very, um, well, you need to do it, but it's also quite important as well for another reason. Um, anyway, I'm going to take a quick break, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's go for the ghosts of Sawayama. The battle at Sawayama Castle has ended, but beneath the castle, the foreigner's loathsome engine still remains. There have been reports of some sort of mysterious crystalline things appearing, such perversions have no place in the coming world of peace. And so, Sir Anjun, I ask that you remove this machine from beneath the castle, along with any yokai that may be there too. Once again, I am shamed by my own powerlessness. There was one who said he saw a certain general from the Osaka faction among the soldiers who fled. Be wary. Okay, so this mission is basically takes place in the same... Um, same mission that we just did uh, previously, and it's again it's the thing, same thing that we always see, uh, reusing the the stage to create more missions, which I'm completely fine with because it's definitely not like they don't embellish it and they don't do it super super like consistently. I think the first, the very first mission in Japan, Isle of Demons, gets used three times. I want to say like one for the main mission, one for Death to Bandits, and one for wreathed in flame I think it is um, but everything else is like once or twice maybe or yeah uh, okay so let's stick with the tonfa and finish those off uh, tonfa are down here did I get any better ones nope still this is the best one all right so I actually this mission's fairly tricky um, <clears throat> and it's also extremely important because uh, 
it uh, allows me to correct a mistake that I made in a previous episode. I'm not going to shoot this one, I'm going to attack it. Because it's like all by itself. Okay, cool. Yeah, it allows me to correct a mistake I made um, in a previous episode. So, and I almost didn't um, put a note to to uh, sort of clarify it, that I had made that mistake. Let's get rid of that guy. So he's annoying to fight when he's big. Uh, let me grab this. Sacred brush, we cannot open those doors. Uh, instead we have to go through here. Alright, so let's see if we can take out some of these guys. One. Missed. Two. I'll fight this guy with the Odachi. So in a previous episode, um, I mentioned that... Damn it. Uh, there was a Kagatsuchi's Magatama that we got from the mission The Silent Crow. And for some reason I had it in my head that that was actually the final Kogatsuchi's Magatama uh, of the game. There are five, and I thought that that was the fifth one. Uh, I was actually mistaken. That was the second last one, and the last one is in this mission. It's not a super big deal, but um, it's uh, still important to clarify that. So I apologize for making that slight error. Uh, all right, let's take care of this crystal. So the way this mission works is there are these big crystals all over the all over the um, stage. Hang on, I can't believe that alchemy could draw this much power out of the spirit stones. That power is evil. But if I, if only I had it for myself. All right, so I think basically uh, what they're saying is that the the alchemists of the world can harness... Wait, I can't go anywhere else in there? I guess not. Oh right, yeah, those three areas are cut off. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go this way then. Um, and that area is cut off too. Okay, cool. So we just go down here. So the alchemists uh, are able to uh, harness the power of the spirit stones even beyond uh, what they were originally intended for. Uh, that was hard to see, but that enemy had like purple eyes. Um, that's because of the crystals. So essentially the idea is to destroy all the crystals. Um, and then once we do, we will fight the boss and complete the stage. This mission has a sort of a kind of a boss. Alright, oh god. Yeah, be careful here because you have to fight two of these idiots. But that's one for seems to be doing fairly well, especially if you do this combo. No, don't. There we go. Get rid of the fire by dashing. I like that little trick. I love, I love anything like small like that in a video game where it's like, if you do this, this will happen. It's like, oh, that's really cool. Uh, all right, so let's go down here. I just want to quickly check because I know this leads to, yeah, I think, uh, oh, it doesn't matter really which way we go here. Yeah, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. So there's a ninja right here who likes to use a crispy gamma, but I like to use a tonfa. Speaking of which, I should keep an eye on it because I want to as immediately, as soon as I hit 500,000, we are changing. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to time it right and then just get blocking, blocking. But he was also being very coy with his attacks. All right, yeah, uh, so the way it works is whatever crystal is the last one that you destroy, I think this also drops, yeah. Oh, it might or it might not. No, it probably does now that I think about it, because I think there's a sentry down there. What was that? Hmm, interesting. Um, yeah, whatever crystal it is that you destroy last, um, that's the crystal, or that's the area where you will fight the boss. Oh, he... Why was I... Uh, it must be the toughness thing. Okay, yeah, so I think that's what... I, c I actually couldn't remember what... Um, what was it? I couldn't remember the reason... I remember I had asked the question, um, but I didn't get a response, or at least I haven't yet, um, about the stagger uh, and how that works. Uh, we want to go up, actually. Yeah, I remember I asked the question about the stagger and how it works, and like what causes your character to stagger, why sometimes it doesn't, all that kind of stuff. Gotta be careful here. Nice, I want to get my body back. Don't really want to fight everything again. I'll fight this guy. Nice. 
And I think what it is, is, is the toughness. So I think my toughness was so low that I couldn't even, um... Couldn't even survive uh, one of his attacks. But he also had the Earth attribute, which I have a feeling contributes to how much damage he can do and how much stagger. I wonder if I destroy this if he dies. No. Such a wicked face. Much better. Damn, this guy has a lot of health. My weapons aren't very strong, but luckily I know how to play, so... That helps. Okay, in fact, after all that, I should have got a decent chunk of proficiency. Uh, let me just have a quick look at where it is. So, yeah, you can see some areas are blocked off to kind of narrow the stage down. That's good. That one, I think, is a... That was the one that was actually open, I think, in... Uh, in the other version of this stage, or in the main mission version. So I'm going to be careful there, and now we're going to go this way. So we've taken care of two crystals. Uh, let's go this way. Whoa, okay. I do not have access to the... Where is it? Ah, oh, it's down here. Bang. Okay, cool. those guys. Here's the sentry. Done. Nice. Didn't even have to wait until he was vulnerable. I, oh yeah, that's down there. Okay, we'll go down there in a moment. Maybe it is worthwhile going down there first. Actually, now that I think about it. Uh, okay. So you want to definitely be taking out, I think I mentioned this ages ago, but you want to definitely be fighting all these revenants. Um, like I said, the, the female character, to unlock one, if, if you want the 100% that is, uh, to unlock one takes 70,000 and apparently it's really slow if you do it offline. Um, you can you can go online, you can help other people and you get more, um, hey, actually I went the right way, this is good because I'm pretty sure this is a dead end. One. To, yeah, if you go online you can help other people and then you get more glory for it. But I like to try and keep it as like offline as possible just just in case, you know. Online is always it can be tricky. Especially when it comes to trophies. Like if, if there's trophies that you can get offline, I'd usually rather do them offline. Here we go. So I'm pretty sure this is the Kagats, which is Magatama. Yep. Cool, so we collected it, we have all five. Um, and I could show you something, but I can't actually show it right now. Because I can only show it in the main menu. Uh, but I'll, I guess I'll explain it. That's what I was getting confused with. Um, so in this, uh, what do you call, you know how like there's the character directory Well, um, Tomei, or I think her last name, it's tricky because um, in Japanese they say like the first name and the second name or surname like in reverse. I think I think that's how it works. Um, anyway, so Senji Tomei or Tomei Senji, whichever way it is, uh, she is the hot spring. Um, she has a character directory. Um, uh, you know, she has a character directory for herself, and the game you know, provides you with information and it, it also hides that information behind certain tasks, um, such as, you know, it's usually, what is it, complete a cert certain mission. Let's see if this works. That's pretty good. Nice. It's usually complete a certain mission um, and then you can unlock more information about them. Usually a mission that's pertinent to, to that particular character. Um, for Senji Tomei, they actually did a slightly different thing. Um, when you collect one Kagatsushi's Magatama, you get a, you get, you unlock an entry, um, or like a little excerpt for information about her. When you collect three, you get one, and when you collect, uh, five, you get one as well. So, uh, I really like the way they did that, because it, it's, like, it differentiates it from the other characters. It's a nice little touch as well. 
like instead of just completing missions to get information, you have to actually get a specific thing. Is this the one I was in before? Yes, good. All right, that's where I was before. Let's go down this way. That's the hole. Okay, so we completed it. Um, in that case, let me quickly do this. I want to make sure that I went every way. So we did, where is it? We did that. I got that, went that way. So now let's go this way and that's the end. Perfect. Look at that. Look at all those different um, horny bees. This is going to be dangerous. Good. I don't know where the hell that only bee went, are there? Good. Um, so I think what it does is it creates only bees, I'm pretty sure the... Yeah, this thing basically creates only bees. Alright, awesome. Let's go over here. I can't believe I'm like getting actually relatively close to finishing this game off. Oh damn, that was really poorly timed on my part. I wanted to avoid his attack, but I... That's it. Do it again, do it again. Nice. <laughs> Not a little worry about him. Let's do the same trick. Yeah, I can't believe I'm like sort of really closing in on at least finishing a large portion of the game maybe not the entire playthrough but a large portion of it which is really cool especially because i considered this such a difficult game to do and i still consider it a very difficult game to do um because you have like certain ways that you want to go about it uh this is a tricky one if i destroy the crystal i think it ends the mission so i want to want to get around here I want to get these two guys gone, so if I can at least take out one, that would be nice, yeah. I can't hit the other one, at least not in the weak spot. So you can actually put like a little delay on that attack, but it feels weird to do. It might not... It's hard to convey exactly how it feels to do it uh, if you're not doing it yourself, but it definitely... I guess I'll try and give it my best shot to explain it. So it's like if you perform the combo really quickly and add triangle right at the very end really quickly, it'll perform instantly, sort of one, two, three, there. But if you kind of like go, I guess, into like the fourth hit, which... Hang on. Okay, there's a good example. Like I took too long. Oh god. Please don't kill me. Ah, uh, run. Did not expect that. What a jerk. <laughs> I think that just, like, I know it leads back to where I think it leads back to. I just wanted to actually check if there was anything else. Quit it, man. <sighs> Burn. Sometimes I'm able to, like, activate it instantly, other times not so much. How did he not die? Okay. Ah. Oh. Huh. I didn't realize that. I think he has that same kind of effect that the, um... That the... Let's do this. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, so the only thing that's is left is that, um... The wheel, but I'm not gonna bother. Um... He, se he seems to have the same effect as, like, the Onyudo, where... Um, basically... If he runs into a wall, he'll, like, uh, become stunned. And if the wheel monk does that, he'll, yeah, become stunned as well and, like, fall over. Alright, and now... Son-in-law of Sonata. I can see in your eyes that your sense of justice runs true and deep. Oh, I probably went over my proficiency, which is really annoying, especially for this particular boss, because it would have been very useful to use something else against him. Done. <laughs> okay, or you could do that. That actually works really well. Suruga Masamune. That must be the special one. Or a special one. 
Yep, righteous strategists. Okay, cool. That's for that. Awesome. Um, let's have a quick look at that. Uh, yep, we got it. All right, cool. So Odachi, spear, and jewel swords left. All right, well, I'm glad I got to this point because uh, I know that I'm pretty much out of time. So I'm going to go back and see if there's any kind of little... Um, whatchamacallit... Uh, information at the end just a little blurb and then we'll do some more stuff next time all right awesome going well going well we're getting there um all right the ghosts of sawayama sir anjun i am truly in your debt you have restored peace to sawayama castle the rest you may leave to us for the sake of the peace that lord iasu longs for no sign of what has happened here can be allowed to remain i must ask you to Sir Anjun, not to let word of this pass your lips. Okay, so we get a spear, summoner's candle, nine spirit iron fragments. Um, the other thing to note was, yeah, we fought um, Otani, yeah, Otani Yoshitsuga, I think his name is, there. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that was. Uh, some lore story reason, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure why that was. Uh, yeah, you can see that we actually did because I got a two out of three there. So that actually counted towards that. Um, all right, let's do a quick level up and then we'll call it an episode. I think I can only level once this time. Yep, cool, that's fine. Again, with my levels, I'm not creating a build, remember? Um, it will will create a build when the time comes. Um, but for right now, I wanna thank you all for watching episode 78 of Let's Platinum Neo. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.